you know what that is? The dreidel. Dreidel, dreidel, spin, spin, spin. Will it land on a non? A gemel hay or shen? The miracle of Hanukkah dwells within. When the dreidel, you spin, spin, spin. You know, nes gadol haya sham or nes gadol haya? Po. When you are in mm-hmm. Eretz Yisrael, nes gadol haya po. When you are in Ha'ula, nes gadol haya sham. That is correct. Okay. So now we should say nes gadol haya sham. I'm right now in the home of Loyal Sharif. Welcome to my home. Thank you so much. Baruch Haba. We have been talking for a couple months now, and we've gotten to know each other a little bit, but I don't know anything about your background. I know what you're doing now. I don't know where you come from. Can you explain that a little bit? All right. First of all, welcome to uh, my home. How, what okay. do you think of my library? The library is beautiful, and you are an extremely <laughs> knowledgeable person. Thank you so much. Um, my name is Loyal Sharif, and uh, I... Um, I love to introduce myself as a content creator. I create content, educational content, uh, um, for learning languages, different languages, including, of course, uh, Hebrew, Ibrit. I teach Hebrew for uh, the beginners, or Ibrit Lematchilim, and English as well, all levels. Uh, so I love creating la- um, uh, content for languages, because I believe that when you create, a la- uh, uh, when you learn a language, you uh, acquire um, another brain. If you learn five languages, you have five brains. So you're more open to different cultures, different backgrounds, and you become more tolerant. So this is what I do. But of course, originally I'm a software engineer. Yeah, I know. I worked as a software engineer for a very long time, and I believe that, you know what's the real definition? What's the simplest, the simplest definition of an engineer? The simplest, a person who designs the solution. Okay. So, I learned from engineering to design solutions for so many things. So, and I uh, really, uh, I thank God, uh, Baruch Hashem, Alhamdulillah. I thank God for um, giving me these skills, different skills in different uh, knowledgeable areas, because it's helping me in what I'm doing in uh, in my life. Okay, and. Can you tell us a little bit about where you're from, where you grew up, what your ancestry is like, and all that? It's a very complicated uh, question, but I'll start with Morocco because my, uh, my origin, my real, real origin, it goes to uh, a city called Fas because my name is Louis Ahmed Amin Al Idrisi Al Sharif. Al Idrisi. Louis? Ahmed Amin Mahmoud Al Idrisi Al Sharif. Al Idrisi is, is, is. Six or seven? A, yeah. Even I, I can go, I can go back to the forty-two ancestor, which is uh, Ali Nabi Talib, Sayyidina Ali. So Al Idrisi is the first. I have two family names, Al Sharif and Al Idrisi. Al Idrisi is um, a very well-known family name, descendants of the Prophet Muhammad. They are originally from Fas, Morocco. Okay, and then family moved to Egypt. So we settled there for a very long time, and then to Saudi Arabia, and then now I moved to Bahrain. So. Morocco, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain. Um, I was born and raised in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, and now I'm living in Bahrain. I'm so proud that uh, um, I, uh, I, I contribute to my society here in Bahrain and to the Gulf states and to the Arab world as well. Can it's a, it's a very bit uh, complicated, but you know, this is what uh, I have different backgrounds, and I'm so proud of it. Okay, and. Um can you take me back to your childhood? What was it like growing up in Jeddah in the 90s? Jeddah is... I, I, you know, I, whenever I go to Jeddah, I, go, I, I still go to places where I've been. In school, in, in everywhere. So I love Jeddah. I love Jeddah. Growing up in Jeddah is, um, is very intimate. It's very, um, it's very open uh, compared to other cities in Saudi Arabia and in the Gulf as well. Uh, I love Jeddah so much. I still love Jeddah, my favorite city. You know, when I was there, it reminded me a lot of Tel Aviv. When I walked to the Corniche, I was like, I really Corniche, like, yeah, Corniche, yeah. Corniche. 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 I, I live, by the way, in my neighborhood. It's called Az Zahra. Okay. It's very close to the Al Corniche. So it's, uh, Jeddah has always been a modern uh, city, even in the 90s. And uh, now Riyadh is becoming more modern. Come on. But you know, Jeddah has been that modern for a very long time. So I love Jeddah, I'm so loyal to Jeddah. 
Okay. And you went to what kind of school? I went to uh, a government school. It's called Thagar. And then a private school. It's called Jil Faisal. Graduated from there. Um, and because so many people ask me, why do you have this accent? American accent. I learned English through movies, by the way. You see movies? I owe Hollywood a lot. You know, through, through English, I learned Hebrew, I learned French, I learned uh, lots of languages through English. And, and my degree, the final degree I got is Master's in Software Engineering from, oh, I didn't, uh, I, I have it. I showed it to you. you showed it. Yeah, from Pennsylvania State University. So I'm a proud Nittany Lion. We are Penn State. Nice. <laughs> Did they teach you any English in school? They taught us English, but I, I, I didn't depend on the English that I took in school because it was very pr uh, uh, preliminary. It was very, you know, um, but now it's different, of course, but it was very um, basic English. So I, I relied more on movies and uh, songs. Michael Jackson, Madonna, George Michael, my childhood heroes, by the way. Okay. So I used to listen to the song and then translate the lyrics, and it really helped very well. Just like I did with Hebrew, with Ofra Haza, with uh, Sayyid Haddad, with so many singers in, um, in the Jewish uh, world. And when did you start taking your own path? Meaning, the Gulf is a very, shall I say, intimate place. Mm -hmm. You know, traditionally people have just been living here, not having too much to do with the outside world. Um, we could definitely say that other parts of the world have modernized quicker and you're one of the leading people in the Gulf who are promoting positive and healthy change and tolerance and acceptance and just, you know, widening everybody's horizons. Mm. When did that all start? Uh, it started when I first, um, when I, um, when I first started to work, you feel more independent when you, uh, when you work, you have money, you can travel everywhere, you can read, you can, and you can find, you can find the truth easily, and the truth will set you free. So, for example, I wanted to learn French so hard. So, uh, I traveled to France in 2010, and it was my year of discovery. Before that, believe me, I wasn't the Louis that you're talking to right now. I wasn't that open towards uh, different faiths and different religions. I wasn't that open towards the Jews. I wasn't that open. I was okay, but that, not that open. Like, uh, I would repeat what everyone is saying. And this is what, what were they saying? Like, the Jews are the enemies. Okay. The Jews are the enemy. The Jews, uh, the Christians are, the Jews and Christians are sitting on one table and conspiring against us how to take over the world. Well, imagine that. I was saying that. <laughs> but you know, this is what knowledge makes difference. Yeah. Knowledge makes a great difference when you learn more about people, when you learn their language, when you learn their, their culture, when you travel to their countries and cities. You have a, 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 a total different viewpoint of what these people really are. So this is what I had. When I, when, I, when I started to work, I had my own money, so I felt more independent, and I traveled. Travel changed everything. Where were the places you traveled to? Europe, okay. America, I love America. So uh, uh, um, I traveled to the U.S. 2011, 2013 I, uh, I graduated from Pennsylvania. And um, uh, Europe, uh, uh, America, Canada, <laughs> Canada. And also uh, I went to New Zealand, uh, um, uh, Singapore, so many different, uh, last year I went to Russia. Nice. Oh, yeah. For the world. Uh, not, not last year. 2018. I went the to, Olympics? to the support. Yeah, I have, of course. I shared it on Instagram. So, uh, support the Saudi team. And we lost 5-0. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, it's okay. Better luck next time. <laughs> Inshallah. Did you guys... Uh, no, the, the Bahraini team just won the... Uh, yeah, the Bahraini team made a very good uh, achievement. Alhamdulillah. Louis is on two teams. He's on the Saudi team and the Bahraini team. Yeah. It's really one For the team. first half, the Saudi... And, yeah, of course. Saudi it's and Bahraini are one team. the same. Yes, of course. Okay, so you started opening up to the world, and then what happened? When did you start the academy? And so when I when I opened up to the world, what happened? What happened was a real clash inside my chest that I felt that what I was uh, taught when I was young is totally different from reality. So 
when I found out the truth, the truth really set me free. So I really started to engage more with people from different faiths, from different religions. I still make videos to promote peace between the Jews, the Muslims, and the Christians, and even the different faiths and different religions. I started to learn the purpose of God better, that we are both living under the... Uh, uh, under the uh, the uh, the uh, um, under the rule of God or under the command of God to to build our societies together, and then God will judge us in the hereafter or their olam haba'a. Inshallah, it's the judgment for God. But in life, we should all work together, despite our race, religion, sex, uh, ethnicity. Despite everything else, that's not what I was having in mind when I was a kid. And then I decided to uh, teach people language through YouTube 2013. It lasted for four or five years. And then I decided to turn that into business. And this is what the academy took place in 2019. Alhamdulillah. Uh, thank God it's working so fine. So um, it's working good so so far. So Alhamdulillah, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, willing to develop this more and more, and this is my message. I want to teach people languages, because when you learn more than a language, you learn more than a culture, you are more open and tolerant towards the others. Okay, and um, I understand that there's uh, one country in the world that you would love to visit someday. Can you tell me where that is? <laughs> other than Singapore, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I visited Singapore. Uh, of course, I would love to visit, you know, Let's be very rational. I love the prophets. Okay, I'm so attached to the prophets. When my father, Allah uh, used to bring the uh, used to bring the stories of Ibn Kathir, the stories of the prophets, Qasr al Anbiya. So I was always intrigued to know more about Eliyahu, Elias, Ishaya, uh, Daniel, uh, Moses, Moshe, Lot, and other prophets, David. Malak David. So I, 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 I really had this interest of learning more and more about the prophets. And when I found out that their language was Hebrew, I loved Hebrew more and more. So I would love to visit, uh, I would love to visit uh, Medinat Israel, the state of Israel, for my love and passion for the prophets of God. Biglal Hanivi'im, Shel Elohim, Adonai. Biglal, or because of my love for the prophets and, and, the, and, the, and the heritage of the prophets. One of the cities that I really want to visit so bad is the city where a prophet who is very glorified in the Quran is mentioned. His name is Elias, Eliyahu. You know where he's from? He's from Haifa. Eliyahu Hatishbi. Eliyahu Hagiladi. Right? You sing that. Dimhira, Bayamino, Yabu Eleno, in Mashiach bin David. You sing that every Shabbat, right? Yeah, exactly. So. I want to visit Haifa, I want to visit uh, David, the eternal capital of King David, Jerusalem. I want to visit the city of David. I want to visit, uh, and by the way, Elias or Eliyahu, he was sent to the people of Baal, who, who worshiped Baal, right. the false god. You know there's a city in Lebanon called Baal Bak? Yes. It's also the city was, was, that was named after the people who worshiped the, the, the false god Baal. So we know that in the Quran, but we, 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 we don't honor or, I don't want to say we don't honor, not so many of us honor the memories of, of Eliyahu or Elias, and he's a great prophet of God, by at least knowing more about him. So I learned his language, I know where he's from, I know from which uh, disciples, uh, uh, from what tribe he is. I want to visit all of the, I want to visit Yericho. You know why? Because I want to relive the memories of, of Yeshua when he entered the promised land after the death of Moses. Yehoshua. Yehoshua. I had a wish when I visited Jordan last week. I stood on Mount Nebo and I said, please God, I don't want to be like Moses. I, I want to be like Moses in all aspects, except for this one. I don't want to be like Moses where I can see the promised land, but don't enter it. I want to be like Moses when he, uh, I see the promised land and I enter it, inshallah. inshallah. What is holding you back? from entering the promised land right now? <laughs> well, I don't want to do premature steps. Uh, um, uh, I want to do it in the right time. And uh, I have good relations with lots of people and I don't want to ruin anything. Uh, I want to do it uh, wisely. 
um, and inshallah, I'm so sure that uh, peace will happen very soon. Mm-hmm. And, and believe me, I will be on the first plane to go to Yerushalayim. Inshallah, when that happens, and it will be, uh, as I told you, I will visit Yericho. Uh, I will go to the Dead Sea like Joshua did. Uh, Yericho. Uh, I want to visit uh, Yerushalayim. Uh, I want to vis- I want to visit Haifa. I want to visit uh, uh, um, all the cities, all the cities that the prophets roamed over Judea and the hills of Jerusalem, because uh, I-, I believe as a Muslim that I'm the extension of the prophet. I will say it again, as I said it before in an interview. I mean, me, shall the Muslimi who have the shikhiyut shall live in Israel. And what what steps do you think people need to take in order to advance this? idea of peace in the region? It's a very complicated question. It's not that easy. So I think the steps to accept each other, accept the fact that we are uh, the sons of the, of the same region. The Jewish people are not foreign uh, colonialists or conquerors in the Middle East. We have to know that. They, they belong here. Even the Jews who are Ashkenazi or they, they come from Ukraine and Russia, they are originally, 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 before the diaspora, they were here. Correct. So we are cousins and we are from the same father. I am from Ishmael, you are from Isaac, but we, are, we, we both belong to Abraham, Abraham right. Avinu, right? So we have to accept the fact that we are destined to live with each other for the days to come, inshallah, until the, uh, the world to come comes. Ha'ulam haba'a. I want to say to uh, uh, to uh, I want to say to the Jewish people that uh, uh, we will continue building bridges and uh, bridges based on uh, common ground, and we believe that Muslims and Jews they have so many things in common. Uh, we worship the same God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Uh, we believe that Prophet Muhammad Sallam he came with the message of monotheism, worshiping one and only one God. This is the fundamentalist concept of Islam. We, we both don't eat pork. We don't uh, do, lots of things, do lots of things that we, that we both share in common, to be, uh, to be believed that's forbidden. And uh, so many things. Of course, we have our differences, but we also have our agreements. So why do we, uh, why do we not build our bridges based on our agreements and leave the differences just like we have differences between all people in the world. Even in the same family, you may have difference between the brother and the brother. Correct. So this is the message that I want to deliver to the Jewish people. I want to hear Jewish voices that will call this for the same, that will call for more tolerance and more openness with the Muslim world. It is time for Muslims and Jews and Christians and, and other faiths in the Middle East. All people. All people. This is the Middle East that Mohammed bin Salman, MBS, talked about one day. He said that the Middle East is the new Europe. I'm so sure that MBS, when he said that, he means the Middle East that has the Jews, the Christians, and the Muslims. Not only the Muslims. We are diverse, and diversity is actually a power if we use it right. And we are heading to that direction. And inshallah, I'm so sure that very soon, you and I, Shlomi, and our other good friends, we will one day have a coffee in Riyadh, and then we will take a train and have lunch in Jerusalem, and then go back to Bahrain for dinner, and in the morning prayer we'll do it in Jeddah, and then go back to uh, Haifa maybe. You never know. Sounds like a plan. Inshallah, inshallah. Nothing is impossible. Inshallah. And, you know, to think myself, even two or three years ago, I never would dream that I'd be sitting here in Bahrain, Hasidic Jew, dressed the way I am, you, <laughs> a devout Muslim, dressed the way you are, together, we have no problems. That's a sign us. of God. We, Th- that's a sign from God that it is possible. Because those who want us to fight for eternity are evil. We should know that. Fighting will begets more fighting. And... This is what Satan wants us to, to do. But God wants us to, to live with each other and build our societies in peace and prosper together. It's good for you, for me, for my children, for your children, and for the entire humanity. Correct. And the Jewish people are 
as I, as I told you, they are part of the Middle East. No one will ever be able to deviate from that fact whatsoever. The Jewish people belong here, as the Arabs belong here. We are distant to live with each other. And inshallah, I'm so optimistic that peace will happen very soon. Amen. Amen ve amen. Thank you so much. You are more than welcome. Thank you so much.